Welcome to the Married Man Gaming Show, the show where literally anything could happen, but probably won't. My name is Toby, and let's kick this show off like I plan to each and every time with my freak out. I might not look excited, but trust me, I am. I'm British, I don't know how to show emotion. This week, I'm freaking out about my wife. She's just bought a Nintendo Switch. So, we went to our local game store, and my wife traded in her old 3DS. Bayonetta 1 and 2 on Wii U, and Disney's Magical Kingdom on 3DS. And we got nearly £90 off a Nintendo Switch, so she was very happy with that. We decided to get the Neon Joy-Con one, as I've already got the grey one right here. And naturally, my wife is very excited to get gaming. She's already bought Stardew Valley and Splatoon 2. So, what other games do you think she should get for her Switch? What other games do your wives or girlfriends play that you think my wife might enjoy herself? I'd love to know in the comments below. It's now time for the meat and two veg of the show. I want to talk about 2017 and the Nintendo Switch. There's no denying that Nintendo started 2017 with the failure of the Wii U confirming that age old Nintendo is doomed mantra that irradiates the internet. Nintendo was the underdog in the console wars, but their shiny new console handheld hybrid was shining a light through the dark tunnel that was the Wii U. When March 3rd rolled around, it was clear Nintendo Switch would leave the Wii U shrinking in its rearview mirror. Suddenly, Nintendo was turbocharged and revving its engines for a spectacular year for video games. It started with a bang. Zelda Breath of the Wild was the ultimate launch title for Nintendo's new system, redefining the open world genre on a console where you could take that experience with you wherever you go. It sold me and so many others on the unique selling point for the Switch. I also fell in love with Nintendo's new Pro Controller. Man, this thing feels good. So good. So good. Each and every month saw a major game release for the system with a bunch of delicious indies sprinkled in. Games like Snake Pass, the slippery serpentine platformer where you can't jump. Or Blaster Master Zero, the modern throwback to their NES classic with superb pixel art and great solid gameplay. With tons of games being announced every week, it was obvious Nintendo was onto something. Third parties began to scramble to put something, anything, on Switch. By the end of the year, there are almost too many games for the system. Every week sees a plethora of new games on the eShop. Some of my favourites include Steamworld Dig 2, the Metroidvania Robotic Dig Dug, Stardew Valley the Bumpkin Simulator, Zelda likes It'll Do 2, Ocean Horn, and Blossom Towers, the latter being heavily inspired by my favourite game of all time, A Link to the Past. There is just so much to enjoy on Nintendo's little hybrid, not to mention the blockbuster successes like Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Suddenly, it feels great to be a Nintendo fan again. There aren't too many consoles that have had such a fantastic first year, and it's not even been a full year yet. 2018 holds many secrets for Nintendo. What games will we see announced and released? Will Metroid Prime 4 come out? How about a port or sequel to Mario Maker or Smash Bros? And Animal Crossing has to be announced. Right, Nintendo? Right, Nintendo? Right. We know about new Yoshi and Kirby platformers and the new Fire Emblem game, but it's mostly unknowns for the Switch right now. And that's kind of terrifying, but exciting at the same time. I feel like Nintendo have earned my trust from the killer first year. I can't see them dropping the ball now. Can you? We interrupt this program for some pro dad strats. New child, no time to game, no excuses. Best your enemies in Super Mario Odyssey. Play games whilst rocking the pram. Baby won't settle in the pram. Strap them to your chest with new Baby Bjorn body armor. Be a pro, game like a dad. So now it's the time of the show where I'm going to play a game uh, on my video game show. Today I am playing Mutant Muds Deluxe. Um, this is part of the Mut Mutant Muds collection from Atui on the Nintendo Switch. Basically this is a old school retro platformer. Um, it came out originally on the Nintendo 3DS. Um, and you've got to collect a hundred of these little 
queen things in each level uh, whilst not getting killed by these enemies. So these little ones are a little bit annoying because you've got a duck to shoot them. Classic spikes to avoid there. And the unique thing about this game is you can jump into the foreground and the background. Checkpoint, that's nice. So this, you know, you can tell this was originally designed as a 3DS game because it's got the heavy emphasis on layering, which I think's really pretty interesting. Man, this game's this game's easy. 100 percent. Look at that. Man, one minute, one minute thirty-five. Damn. And uh, you know what else? This game's great. Um, there are leaderboards. Uh, we'll check those out in a minute, though. Let's go straight into World One Two. So the thing about these platforms is you have to wait for them to disappear before you jump. It's all about good timing. See, look, I messed up. But the game wants you to mess up here because, you know, you've got to go down and collect these gems as well. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that's close. Oh, balls. <sighs> See, it's all about timing, and the, the annoying thing about the jetpack is that when you use it, you have to use it all. You can't stop, like, midway through. So that really makes like timing jumps quite tricky. And there's like secret areas like down there, going to G land. See this is one of those enemies that you can't shoot like that. And you can't do a full jump, you have to do like a, a mid jump to be able to hit them. And there's a lot of like tricky things like that in this game. Let's get to checkpoint. Oh, man, I love the way the screen shakes there. It's fantastic. Easy peasy. Man, this looks so nice. Like the HD crispness of these graphics, like beautiful. Oh, oh, oh get back, get back, get back. Yeah, that was tricky. He was placed more on the edge of that one than the uh, than the last one. Look at that, hundred percent in the bag. All right, one free. Here we go. And you know, what? this game's like designed to make you frustrated that you become impatient. And then that's when you start messing up. I remember this bit. This bit is... This bit is annoying. Yes! No! Ah! You used to be right on the far left of the platform before you jump there. You have to time it so well. Come on! That no! Oh, oh! Are you for real? Are you for real? I've already got 100%. It just needs to get to the end of the level. Right. Here we go. Here. We go. Oh, cut! Mm, no. Let's go back and do one of those secret areas that we uh, talked about. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go down here and go to G-Land. Oh, I have no idea what that stands for. But... Man, this... this... This is tricky. Right, so we've got this enemy here. Like, He's... He's on a platform that we need to land on, but 
Obviously we don't land on it because we'll get hurt. We have to kill him first, so... Man, how are we going to do this? Like that. Just like that. Oh no. Ah, fuck! No, 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 oh, two, two hits, come on. Right, on, on. No, 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 no. Mm. Screw it. Man, let's check out these leaderboards. Leaderboard. World 1. Level 1-1. One, one. Who's the best in the world? Not bad, not bad. Good times, good times. Hang on a minute. Who's that? The Nintendo Guru. Who does this guy think he is? The Nintendo Guru, come on. Well, actually, you know what? If he is, in fact, a guru of Nintendo, maybe he could give me some advice. I might just have to look up his phone number, see if I can give him a little ring. Hey Bobby, it's Toby. Toby, Toby Thornton? Yeah, from the UK, Bobby. Well, okay, first how did you get my phone number, and second, why are you calling me? Well, that's not important how I got your number, Bobby. What is important is, did you have a good Christmas? I had a very good Christmas, thank you. How about you? It was alright, Bobby. Could have been better, but it was alright. <laughs> Typical British. Okay. <laughs> better, I guess, okay. So, what did you get for Christmas? I got a lot of stuff. I got a Xbox One S, I got a couple controllers, I got gift cards, games, Forza, Destiny 2, that, that kind of thing. Did you get any good stuff. games, Bobby? <laughs> Forza 3 is really awesome. That's a really good game. Uh, I've really been playing the heck out of Destiny 2, but playing with my buddy Miguel, so that's been fun. Listen, I like Miguel, but I don't care about Destiny. Okay. I've got a question to ask you, Bobby. Okay, yes, yes, go ahead. So, for Christmas, I got myself a copy of Mutant Muds Collection by yes. Atsui. Um, yes. It's a really hard game, Bobby. Have you, got yes. any, have you got any advice for me? Stop playing it now and throw it away. It is, no, it's, it's, a, it's a great game, but man, it is hard. My advice would probably be um, don't get yourself frustrated. Just stay patient. You're going to die a lot. And if you can just remain calm, the best of your abilities, you should be able to make your way through. Now, the other thing I would say is take breaks. Like when you get frustrated, go play mud blocks or just walk away for a little bit. But it, expect to be frustrated. The other piece of advice I would say to you is if you're having troubles with deluxe, go play Super Challenge first. Because okay. you'll die a lot in Super Challenge. But, but, but what, you'll ha what you'll find out is, when you go back to Deluxe, it's so much easier. Right, okay, Bobby, that sounds good. What so about I'll actual play. game mechanics? Um, see, I played a little bit already, and mm -hmm. there's a few levels where there's sort of a skinny little platform where there's no room for you to stand on, but there is an enemy on it. So what do I do about that? Sometimes you just got to take the hit. Or you need to look... Uh, a, sh a jump before now I don't know if you've unlocked the power ups so you have a gun you can power up and like a longer hover right. as well as to jump higher so if you have the gun the gun actually shoots all the way across the screen so sometimes you can actually be on a ledge further away same level shoot it and then work your way over to it so right. you gotta kind of like look around a little bit sometimes and, and you know use your imagination a little bit alright that sounds cool all right. Is that, well, is that, all you, is that all you need? Yeah, that's all I need, boy. I'm done. I'm done talking to you now. Okay. Thank you for calling me. I thank guess. Thank you, Bobby. Bye. I I... All right. Let's give this advice a, a go, shall we? Um. Oh, what am I doing? What? Am I, I'm being impatient. 
Alright. We either take the hit, or we, we kill him on the way down. That's it. Right. There we go. Jump! Yes! We did it! Uh oh. Ow! <sighs> yes! We are professional now. Mm, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no! No, don't do that! Don't do that! No! Why do I keep doing it? The same thing! Every bloody time! Ah, oh, jeez. They're designed to, like, frustrate you when you retry. They're like, no, oh, no, you gotta take your time. You gotta take your time. That's how you do it. You just gotta, you just gotta be good. Right, we can't actually shoot that guy. But we can shoot that guy, so we don't have to worry about that. No, we do have to worry about him though. Screw you! Screw you! Right, let's go over the top. Turn around, shoot him. Die. Just die. We got our hearts back for that. Bloody bloody tastic. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. See, it's easy when you know how. Easy when you know how. Well, I guess maybe the Nintendo Guru advice has paid off a little bit. Let's check out Granny's Egg, shall we? 800. Oh, we've not quite got enough for that. Sorry. Sorry, Granny. Got no no change. Got no, not got enough change, Granny. Let's see if we can beat the Nintendo Guru's time. Go, go, go. I've already lost a little bit of time. I didn't click right straight away. Right, I think the less time we spend in the air, the better. I assume you move slightly slower. I don't know, maybe not. Jump over that dude. Take the hits where we need to. That was slow. Jump over him. Jump over this. In the background. Up, up. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. Ooh, no, it's too slow. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ah. See, I wonder if you come back with the new jetpack ability, whether you would be quicker. Take the hit. I bet you would. If you could jetpack for longer, I bet, I bet there's some way where you could save time. Oh yes, skittles. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong bloody way. What? I'm supposed to go right here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was good. I was thinking I was doing well then. See, I bet, yeah, if you had the long jetpack, you could get across there real quick. Fuck, sc screw you! Oh my god, re retry, retry. Sugar, ah, uh, lost time. Lost half a second there. Ah, oh, come on. Lost another half a second. 39 It's already, look, 39. What is going on? What am I missing? I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Granny gives Bobby an advantage. That's all this is. 
What even is this? What even is this? Granny, I hate you. I hate you, Granny. So that's it for episode one of the Married Man Gaming Show. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you stuck around to the end. All that's left to say is thank you to all of our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash make us better. You can follow me on Twitter at Toby's underscore take. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see more of this video series and other things gaming as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Ciao.